<laughs> this is real. This is this is this is. Th- listen to how real this one is. Okay, Big Mitch. I was listening to Stefan Milius take on the Bundy Ranch standoff. I guess I'm a bit of a masochist. Yes, you are. What maybe, do you have to say? Maybe you should do some random stuff. Kick the hornet's nest a little bit. Maybe lead to some great calls. Here's the thing I will say about Stefan Milieu is that, like, I. I would be open to doing one of his clip to like making fun of him, but the truth is, is that when when Sam debated Stefan Milieu, and I was actually, I mean, it was a, it's a long story, but I, I like we were there. It was it, ha- it, ha- it was late at night when it happened. It was like at ten, not not that late, but like late to be listening to that. It was at like ten o'clock or something, and Matt and I were both on the IMs, even though we were, and I I was actually over. Uh, well, that was a fun night. Actually, someone will remain uh, the the situation. I won't go into greater detail, but I was with uh, I was over someone else's apartment, and oh, I happened ooh. to be I happened to be listening to this thing, uh, with this someone else at the time, and I remember her at one point just saying like, "How can your boss do this?" Like this is torturous to listen to this guy. And I think, I think the thing with Milieu is like, he won't, you, he's running a cult basically. And I agree broadly, like, yes, all libertarianism has a flavor of a cult and it's an incredibly mind bogglingly delusional and limited way of thinking. But he specifically, I mean, I remember reading up on him a little bit before that thing with Sam and there is actually like specific questions around him and like, the group he's building around himself and the kind of group atmosphere he's creating. I guess it's a long way of saying, I just think he's just creepy as hell. So, you know, look, if we clip this, <laughs> I'm sure this will piss off a lot of Stefan Milieu. So maybe we'll do this. But I think one of the reasons I haven't engaged in him is that, number one, he never actually talks about anything. So at least, you know, to be fair, like every libertarian that calls this, this show, they mostly try and they always fail. But to their credit, they'll try. First, they'll do like, hey, have you heard of the non-aggression principle? And they do that nonsense for a while. But then at some point, they will actually try to explain why, you know, we shouldn't have an EPA or why Monsanto should privately administer roads or, you know, what, whatever other, you know, or, or, or like the amazing promises of like, you know, not having government monitor toxins of the water and how we could have, you know, a a thousand small businesses doing that instead or whatever other, you know, fairy tales these people cook up for themselves. But with Milieu, there is none of that. It's all like, here's a really strong claim that's never true. And flowing out of that claim, you know, here's that. It's it's kind of, it's like, it really, it would be, it's it's kind of like I, I, I understand why Bill Nye debated the creationist guy, and I respect Bill Nye a lot, but I wouldn't do it in a certain – like I – you know, because it's like when – you know, you start the debate, and it's like, no, I don't accept that the universe is 5,000 years old and we live together with dinosaurs. So Stefan Milieu would say, you know, Social Security is much more harmful than slavery. and I mean, and that's obviously totally demented and insane and probably – one of the less insane things that he might say that would sound more like just typical libertarianish. So that kind of tells you what you need to know about the guy. Wow, you just went on that whole Stefan Melanieu rant and didn't Melanieu, Melanieu, whatever his name is, and didn't give give provide the money shot. Uh, what is the money shot, Matt? So libertarians who like okay. Stefan Molyneux. All right, all right, all right. Yes, okay. You can call us. The lines are open. <laughs> I don't enjoy it as much as Sam does, but you know what? You can call us. I'm happy to take it. Oh, no, of- I'm going to clip this and put it up. So oh, no, no. Probably call oh, back. okay, okay. For a few, yes, call us. Call Sam. You're following a delusional fraud who <laughs> should be, like, performing juggling tricks in Times Square and not taking your money and your time with YouTube clips. And if you disagree with that, you can call 646-257-3920, 646-257-3920. Thirty-nine twenty, and also all of you sane, healthy, and functioning people listening uh, can make the same call as well. Uh, I wanted to uh, add to your comment about Stefan Molly and who you are one hundred percent correct. He is a sociopath, and 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 cult leader is a very good description. Of, I, I listened to uh, Joe Rogan's podcast, and uh, he's been on there a couple times, and and just. I got a sense of him, yep. and just 
the amount of lies he tells, it's it is faster than than any like even like a Peter Schiff. It's like it's just a constant. I, yeah, I lost count of how much uh, just absolute bullshit he's. And, it, and it's like things that like anybody who could just like not just like opinion wise, just like factual false. I mean, I don't have examples. No, I mean, I have, I, he I says, agree. no, no, but I know, no, that's kind of what I mean. Like, if you just say, well, there was no poverty before the New Deal. I don't even know if he said that, but I'm sure he could have said that. Then There's it's like, like, well, yeah, I mean, no, like if that's if anybody who has not Google true, but he's just going to say this it. Guy without yeah. any, right, right, exactly. If anybody who has a little bit of time in Google can, can easily find. But another thing about this guy mm-hmm. is, um, like, I looked into him a little bit, and he's got a bunch of... There, there are websites devoted to um, Stefan Molyneux recovery because he ruined people's lives because he's, he's got this thing where he's like, uh, you need to completely divorce yourself from everybody who isn't um, on board with the whole... Libertarian. See, I didn't see. I didn't know that specific. I didn't know that specifically, but I like that's the vibe I'm getting from him. And I, I don't, you know, obviously, yeah, I, don't, like, I don't like any of these people. But there is something, and just you know, I think his background. He might have had like some like failed acting background or something. And like, there's guys like this, like like L. Ron Hubbard. You know, created socio uh, Scientology. Like, oh yeah, there are people. They they now, have some like, talent, and they have some, and they failed in performing arts, and they channeled it. Into creating cults, basically, and that's the vibe I get off. Of to that. me, to me, that's the difference between Stefan Molyneux and someone like Peter Schiff. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong; Peter Schiff is deplorable. Peter Schiff's just your. But he, 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 yeah, he Peter Schiff's just your run-of-the-mill piece of shit. Kind of reminds you of like a David Koch. I mean, yeah, he's like what yeah, he talks about basically. Um, is he he the lies about social security is going to collapse. So buy my gold. Yeah, he pushes. It's just he it's pu- just a run-of-the-mill con man. Yeah, he but pushes. Molyneux is something deeper. There's like a there's a sociopathy about him. Uh, and a, and a, a, the cult thing is very uh, apt. It's it's uh, all about like, um, I mean, there's there's support groups on the internet. Like this guy made me or, or convinced me to tell my whole family that I can never see them again. Like, wow. Uh, well, all right. Like you know, I, wife, I, I I appreciate that. That's a that's a great call. Took the I, words right out of my mouth. Didn't even let me finish. <laughs> but uh, right, we'll, we'll, uh, we 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 spent enough time probably as it is giving, but but I'm sure hopefully we'll get some calls out of it. But but thanks for the call, man. Have a great day. Right, you there? Let's get no. Well, don't Hello? worry about it. He heard you. Let's get to uh, one of your stories, dude. We're okay, running out of time all right, here. All right, relax, relax, relax. Take it just. Oh, ah. I see. When, when Michael's got like an intersection or a blogging heads to then do. Then we need to go back. <laughs> 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 Yesterday I had to record a blogging heads after and I was just like, man, what's good? And today there's no plans after, man. <laughs> Life is good. <laughs> All right. No, I'll get to these stories. I wanted to hear what you, what, no, what did you have to say about Milieu? No, basically what he just said, how, you yeah. know, with, uh, with Peter Schiff and those type of uh, libertarians, you know, I, they're deplorable people. I'm sure, I, in fact, I probably like Peter Schiff Less than I like Peter Molyneux, but Stefan Stefan Molyneux. Whoops. Yeah, yeah. But with Peter Schiff, at least he's you know he advocates and pushes forward. You know what he's doing is advocating and pushing forward these policies that benefit him. That's what he wants. He wants money. The Stefan Molyneux guy seems to be completely, uh, n- uh, you know, neck de- uh, deep neck deep into uh, this fantasy philosoph- philosophical world. Where, where I think it really is like a cult. It's not about you know money with him. It's, it's, it's. I think it's something more. No, I think he's starting. I think he's. I think it's a cult. I mean, I'll say that again. 